The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci is one of his most popular artworks and is an iconic art piece for many people around the world. Da Vinci was a Renaissance artist and probably the most well-known artist from that time. The Renaissance was a huge movement from the 14th to 17th century. The word Renaissance comes from the Italian word for rebirth, a rebirth of art literature, science, and philosophy. Da Vinci was born on April 15, 1452, and died on May 2, 1519. Da Vinci was a well-educated, sophisticated man, with having experience as being a scientist, engineer, mathematician, and painter, just to name a few. Da Vinci's depiction of the Last Supper, which came from the Gospel in the New Testament, was a commissioned work that he did for Ludovic Suavsa, who was a Duke of Milan. The Last Supper is 15 feet tall and 28.8 feet wide. Da Vinci used tempera on gesso, pitch, and mastic to paint the Last Supper. The painting is located in Santa Maria del Grazi in Milan, Italy. Da Vinci used one-point perspective, which involves all the lines in the painting converging in one place, known as the vanishing point. This strategy was used to emphasize the importance and central position of Christ. The lines all converge in the center, drawing the viewer to look at Christ from all angles. The painting also contains a lot of shapes like squares and triangles along with different types of angles that help with the perspective. There are four sets of three apostles at the table beside Christ and these numbers could have been important for da Vinci for symbolic reasons. For example, there are four gospels in the Bible and there is the number of the trinity with jesus also symbolizing the trinity since he is in a triangle form with his body the last supper shows from left to right bartholomew james andrew judas peter john jesus christ in the middle thomas james the greater philip matthew theodos and simon Da Vinci painted the Last Supper after a saying from the Gospel, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. Matthew 26 Da Vinci depicted when Christ brought the apostles together to eat and told them that he knew one of them was betraying him. In the painting, it shows the reactions of the apostles when Christ told them this information. Each of the apostles have a different emotion reacting to what they just heard. Christ had a very calm look sort of in observation of the apostles' reactions. Judas, seen in the painting fourth from the left, is portrayed as afraid of Jesus with his face shadowed. Judas is the only apostle whose face is lost in the shadows. This can symbolize Judas as being lost from the light of Christ. Readings from the Bible show that Judas would later betray Jesus by turning him over to the chief priest to be crucified. The painting has been through multiple downfalls throughout its time starting with King Louis' attempt to cut the painting off the wall when invading Milan in 1499, to the invading French troops in 1796 who decided to throw rocks at the painting and poking the eyes out of the apostles. The biggest destruction of the painting has to be the bombing of the church in 1943 by Allied forces. The painting miraculously survived all attempts of destruction, even the bombing with the church.
mostly destroyed into debris, the painting still survived. Whether this was a godly miracle or not, it shows how much the painting was cherished and how important it was to Milan. Da Vinci had never painted on walls before, and that the Last Supper was his first time doing so. His inexperience with such works added to the flaking and deterioration of the painting very quickly. This ended with multiple restoration efforts of the painting. The painting was never completely restored. With all of the popularity of the painting, there has been many speculations around it as well. The most popular conspiracy because of Dan Brown's popular 2003 book, The Da Vinci Code, later a film in 2006, is whether or not the person sitting next to Christ on the left was John or Mary. This is important because we see how gender roles play a big part in the painting. In the painting, John is the only one of the apostles who has long hair and no facial hair, or anything that would make him look more masculine. Instead, he gives off a more feminine look, making people think that wasn't actually John, but was actually Mary. Mary, according to the gospel, was actually there during the event. She attended to help wash the feet of Christ and the apostles only. The person next to Christ is actually John and not Mary. Because of this, Da Vinci would have gotten in trouble for adding a woman to the painting with Christ since it was a commissioned work for the church. There is also a lot of iconography and symbolism shown in the painting. You can see Judas and Christ both reach for the plate. Da Vinci depicted that by having Judas reaching for the same plate as Christ while holding a bag of money, the money symbolizing his reward for turning in Christ and betraying him. Da Vinci also depicts Judas as the most scared looking out of all the apostles because he knew it was him and didn't want to get confronted by Christ. Da Vinci also painted three windows looking out to a very calm, light area symbolizing heaven. The three windows are explained to be a symbol of the Holy Trinity with an arch making it seem like there is a halo around Christ's head. The table or altar in the painting is a sort of separation between the heavenly world and the human world. The Last Supper is also depicted in popular culture like in TV shows like The Simpsons and South Park. Many years later, the iconic Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci is still one of his most famous paintings and extremely praised to this day. Regardless of all the things the painting has been through, from restoration efforts to bombings to conspiracy theories, 